Yesterday, we had a preview of some of the artwork going into the Damien Museum. On tonight's Mix Plate, the creative tributes to the saint continue. He stands in a bed of bird of paradise near the sea, enveloped in a halo of sunlight. Beneath his cassock, the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. It's one of several mosaics created by the Sacred Hearts sisters in a project that started out as art therapy by UH artist Karen Lucas. She did the face and the hands, that's her expertise. Joseph Chang did the frame, the side panels. We had Georgia Ramos who did the cassock part. I did up and down the street, which our Damien slept on when he first got to Molokai to Kalapapa. And from that day on, he was a saint. I think, why did they wait so long? I don't know. Was it a joy to work on? I love it. I haven't stopped. Sister Dorothy has just completed the foliage of a new mosaic. Tiles donated from ceramic outlets are cut into shape, fitted into the puzzle, and glued down. One of Damien's first churches that he did on the big island, and it seems it was devoured by the volcano. Very little about this church. Each of the big mosaics take up to eight months to complete. Here at the Sacred Hearts Care Home, Sister Dorothy invites all the other nuns and visitors to tackle a tile. She believes the mosaics should be for and by everyone who cherishes Damien's memory. That's Mixed Plate. And we have since learned that little church was Our Lady of the Seven Sorrows at Kalua Aha in Puna. Yeah, that is some really fabulous stuff. She's Sister really Dorothy, you've got it going on. She, she's huh? a spitfire. She yeah. sure does. Yeah, good stuff.